Hi, I'm Robbie. In today's how-to video, I'm going to be demonstrating a 50-hour lefty service using the RSP Lefty Service Kit. The service uh, can be done on or off the bike. Tools you're going to need a torque wrench, a 2mm Allen key, a 36mm socket with six sides, and of course your R uh, RSP Lefty Service Kit, a decent shock pump, and then I also like to use a little bit of grease um, when we put it back together, just grease the O-rings, um, and of course some lint-free rags. Okay, to start with, we need to uh, do the most important aspect of today's uh, how-to is actually releasing the air pressure because we're also gonna reset the bearings just now. So we're gonna just open the top, take the little air cap valve off, and I'm just gonna use the two millimeter Allen key just to release my air pressure there, make sure there's no air left, resi residual air left inside there. I'm gonna turn the fork the correct way around. All right, so I'm actually now going to remove the top um, because I want to get and open this here. So I'm gonna take these off because I'm gonna clean them as well. There we go. And now I can remove the, left, the top cap, which I'm gonna use uh, my socket wrench for. Okay, there we go. And now we can push the fork up. But if you look now, you'll see the fork is only getting a limited amount of travel. This is because the bearings have actually set themselves into the uh, into the travel um, and it will, it's limiting now. It almost feels like the fork is topping out or bottoming out. A lot of people say to me the fork's leaking air, but actually what's happening is the fork needs to be reset, the bearings. So to do that, um, on or off the bike, just obviously let all the air out. You can see where, um, where the fork is stopping. Just take some force, push it on, and you can see now I've reset the bearings so the fork will get its full travel again. So I'm gonna extend this all the way. I'm gonna open my kit, take out the two parts that are in there. This is the um, 50 mils of cleaning solution. Okay, so let's pour this in here. Okay, there it goes. Gone directly down to the bearings. And I'm just gonna cycle the fork a couple of times just to Clean those bearings off. All right, then I'm actually just gonna empty it out into my basin. And all right, there we go. So now we need it to, you need to leave it to dry for about half an hour just so that the, um, the cleaning solution will evaporate. Then we'll put in the uh, lefty lube and uh, close up the fork. Now we can actually pl put in our anti-friction lube. Uh, it comes with the kit, so it's exactly the uh, right amount for the fork. So just open it and Apply it into the top of the fork, just like that. Make sure you use everything that's in the packet. There's only 10 mils, so it all needs to go in. And there we go. And now we can circulate it once more. So that the, the oil gonna reach the bearings and lubricate all the surfaces. And it's also come to come down here to the, the seal and sit in the seal head. All right, and before you close it up, just remember to, because you've used that cleaner now, this area here is quite dry, so I recommend that you use some of the slick kick um, to grease these surfaces up, as well as the, the O-rings that are in your, your lockout. So it just needs a really a little bit of the slick kick, and we're just gonna then wipe it around the edges here just to Lubricate that O-ring and also our threads. Um, all right, then we can go ahead and close it up. All 
There you go, 20 Newton meters. So now we know it's tight. And don't forget to loosen your torque wrench. All right, so before we put our lockout and rebound button back on again, we are gonna apply a little bit of slick kick, give it a nice clean out first, make sure there's no dirt inside. Um, there's some very important O-rings inside here, uh, which we will also apply some slick kick to. A little bit of grease on there. Want to make sure that we get these nice and lubricated. There we go. And this little one in here, also going to get some lube on it. And of course this little spring will get some lube as well, just a little bit, there we go. And now we can put it all back together again. Rebound goes on first, followed by the spring, followed by the lockout. Push everything in, seat it, and with our two millimeter Allen key, we tighten everything up again. There we go. And make sure that the pop lock is working. Okay, take off the excess grease. There we go, and it's working nicely there, and it's turning nicely as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and pump up our shock again. So, yeah, it's, remember, if you want to see how to set up your suspension, take a look at our suspension setup guide, um, and that'll just explain to you how to set up your suspension sag. It applies to the lefties as well, um, and so that will be, if you follow that guide, you'll be able to set it up for your weight and also for your riding style. Okay, I'm gonna go and pump this up to 100 PSI, and then I wanna equalize it, because there is a negative spring in here, which I need to equalize. Okay, let's put the little top cap on again. And the lockout's working well. Pop the lock, and there we go. That's it, 50 hour service done. Don't forget that um, you, need to, you should do this every 50 hours, but it's important that you remember your 200 hour service, which is a complete teardown. Uh, we, we rebuild the whole fork, that you need to send it into a professional uh, workshop to actually do it because there's specific tools required. So remember to subscribe here um, to keep up to date with all the how-to videos. And thank you for watching.